Hello and welcome to RuneWays. My name is Wayne Brecky, and today I'm going to tell you about rune cloths that I use. So I use two different types of rune cloths. Uh, same fabric and material. I happen to have a couple of pieces of this faux suede laying around, so I went ahead and uh, cut a couple of uh, squares out. And the first one I used a the first one I ever did was a circle, uh, but the one I'm going to show you first here is the spiral. And now this is the one that I use for my own personal readings. Uh, mainly because I like to cast, and so I'll drop them on there. And I'm going to show you how to do this right here. So let's take a look at the, the spiral one first. So this is the spiral. It's about 16 inches wide. And I've got this just written in Sharpie on a faux suede cloth. And I really don't have it adorned with anything. I like to keep it nice and clean. But I'll read from the inside out. So... So here's how it works. So I'll, when I cast the runes down, you'll see the orientation goes from the inside to the outside of the spiral. So however the runes land, as they land on those lines, I'll take a look at them. So here's my uh, personal set that I use. Now in this part of the video, I probably should have used more rectangular runes, but that's okay. These were ones that I, I really like and I, I thought it'd be all right. So I'll take them all out and I will uh, basically want to draw nine runes. Now you can draw as many as you'd like or just grab a handful, but I like to take them and draw nine runes and then I will put the rest back into the, uh, the case. And I'll keep these here, I won't look at them. Put the rest back in the vessel there. And then I'll just take these runes, shake them up a bit. And this might take a little bit of practice to get them to go right, but uh, boom, then you'll let them uh, go and of course, because they are round, I am now on the ground looking for a rune that fell off the table. So, uh, hold on here, I'll be right back. Oh, okay, I found it. So, I'm going to angle the camera here just a little bit differently. Uh, actually, I didn't have a choice, but uh, so the first one was Pertho. As you can see, it was in the very center there. And the second, as we go down, it spirals around. Now, you can see this is, yeah, Al Algiz, and it is... As you can see, the orientation now shows reversed. So I'll put that down there. Keep going around the spiral and there's Redho. And since it's on the line there, I will uh, take that as a, uh, a positive orientation there. And there we go, the last one is Urus. And again, that is in the positive orientation. So there you go. So you'll be able to tell by the way they are on the lines, whether they are no, forward or backwards. All right, so the next one is the one I was telling you about originally, which was the circle. Now I have a middle circle about the same size, 16 inches, and I put four different circles on the outer edge. Really, I like to live, leave this unadorned so much, but I do like to have this kind of setup when I'm reading for others or myself. So the circles kind of give me an orientation. Here's a, a direction marker that I use. It's a compass rose, and I use it to hail north got my uh, couple of my tortoise friends here and I've got uh, time and pyrite for the dwarves and elves and of course we have Freya here are my uh, homage to them as well as Odin right I have symbols of them and feel free to adorn your 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 sacred space how you like I do like to bring in some crystals to this some Palo Santo and of course a, a candle for protection and then three candles to represent the Norns. And uh, this is my shield. So this is kind of the setup that I have and I'm using the runes that I've made here. Uh, these are a little bit bigger. These I like to use for draws because they are larger. So I'm gonna take them out of the uh, bag here. And uh, basically I'll have the client, if I'm doing it for somebody else, I'll have the client shake it up, but I'll uh, give it a good shake. And that's when I put in my intention. And at this point, that's when I would ask for guidance to guide our hands to receive a true reading. So what I'm doing here is I've poured out the bag after the intentions have been uh, put into them. I pour them out, I turn them all over, and when I'm doing this for a client, I will go ahead and this is where I kind of come in and I lay them out. And I lay them out in the heavenly star pattern, the Hagal star kind of. And uh, this allows me to 
also get a little bit of guidance since I don't know what those runes are. I'm putting them in the order that I think they should be in for the client. And there we go. Just getting them all set up. And this is always an interesting process for me. There we go. Get those set down there. All right. So there we go. Now I have the, you know, whoever, whoever the querent is, I will ask them to focus, concentrate, they can uh, pick up a grounding stone if they'd like, but really to feel the energy over the runes. And I asked the client to go ahead and take their hand and just start putting it over the runes and seeing if you can feel some of that energy. And once you do find one, just put your finger on it. And this, I'll show you how to turn them over. So boom, I'll pick this one. Now, I, now the orientation is this way again from the inside out. So I'll turn it over like a book and that will let me see if it is forward or reversed. And this one is in the reverse position. It's Kenaz in the reverse position. All right, so now I would ask the client to, again, the second rune in your story, you'd go and you'd pick another one, turn it over like a book once again. And here we have Need. There we go, we'll put that one down. And then once again, for the third rune pull, we'll go ahead and just, there we go, pick one there, turn it over like a book with the orientation facing outwards. And then you can see which one we have. We'll go ahead and put that one down. Now this one, oh, weird. And put that one down. There you go. There is a three rune draw right there, and that's how I kind of lay it out. And there you go. There is the setup but with all the runes facing up so that you can tell the orientation of each. I have all these facing outward in the normal position. So there you go. And a little bit of glimpse on, on the stuff that I have here too for the clients. All right, so those are the two rune cloths that I use. Now, you can use pretty much anything you would like and that's totally okay. In fact, I would love to know what you use uh, just go ahead and write it down in the comments, share it on our Facebook page, or tag us in Instagram, all that kind of stuff. Uh, while you're here, go ahead and like, subscribe, and share if you would. So, all right, well, my name is Wayne Brecky, and I'll see you next time on Runways.